Hello, I'm Alan. Since the end of lockdown I've been wanting to try out a bit of uh, camping overnight in my local wilderness and I bought a, a four season tent, a small one, a Lightwave S10 Sigma. And I thought I'd test it in uh, appropriate weather. Well, they forecast rain, wind and a bit of snow the other day so I thought I'd uh, give it a try, see what it's like as a four season tent. So the following video will show you how I got on. I'm out for a cheeky little trip in the country and uh, found a nice little spot. Sun's just started to go down, the sky's turning a nice colour. And there's a lovely little spot on the heather amongst gorse. Very pretty. And this is my tent. Neat little package. Very lightly pitched, there's no wind. And the tent's all ready to go. I got here and pitched at about 4.30. It's, uh, now about 5.30. The temperature is supposed to be dropping to about 2 overnight, 2 degrees C. There might be some snow in the morning apparently. We shall see. Uh, it's about to have some dinner. Right, I'm just brewing up my, uh, my dinner. There's a cuppa on the go there. Chilichi pottles brewing, all ready to eat. A few minutes. It's just gone midnight and the rain is pouring and the wind is gusting over 20 miles an hour and I've just stuck a couple of the storm guys on the back just to brace the tent and it's uh, holding up pretty busy out there now. That's what it's like in the morning after all this lovely rain. <laughs> Alright, well it's now 5am, it's been raining constantly for about five hours, quite heavily at times, still gusty at times. The material has, has obviously wetted out now on the outside and it starts to like have like a sweaty kind of look on the inside from the condensation. Um, probably see a certain amount of shine, I don't know. But it's not dripping or anything. But it it's 5.30 a.m. Um, a bit of light appearing in the sky now and it's just stopped raining. The tent material has... it did get a bit kind of clammy on the inside um, while it was raining heavy continuously. Um, it's still got a slightly damp feel on the inside but it's kept me completely dry. No water beading, just a little bit damp on the inside. So, quite impressed that it's doing its job. And the tent's holding up, been holding up well in the gusting winds. It's quite strong gusts at times. Um, it's good. Quite, quite impressed. It's, right, it's 8 a.m. <coughs> it's uh, very wet outside still, and uh, it's been raining nearly all night. Um, it just stopped for about an hour, about five o'clock, half five. The winds are strong. Now they're forecasting 40 mile an hour winds. They weren't forecasting 40 mile an hour winds, they were forecasting about 17 at most. And I'm in a fairly, fairly sheltered spot, so I, I was a bit lazy, I didn't use all the guys. So it flaps a little bit if you don't use all the guys. Uh, with all the rain, um, and obviously sleeping in it overnight, this material has, has wetted out on the outside and it's now feeling a little bit wet on the inside. Um, in, enough to make the edge of the sleeping bag or jacket wet if you touch it. So uh, it does need going out properly. This bit in particular tends to flap and that does get wet and that does drip because that's just um, ripstop nylon. Whereas this stuff with the carbon does still continue to um, absorb the moisture and transmit it to the outside, um, although in a much more limited way. If you had rain day after day, I think it could be a bit damp in, in this 
tent, but then any tent's damp <laughs> if you have those conditions. So uh, it's not too bad. One good thing I can say about it is that the although the sides are feeling quite damp now and have been a little bit wet at times, um, it's not wet so that it's such that it's running down onto the ground sheet. That's all still okay down there. Okay, so it's soaking wet out here, still raining, nice beading on the outside of the tent. Waterproofing works very well. Leave no trace. Not a thing left behind now, except the path is just a soggy mess. It's just a river here. <laughs> Good test for my boots. My rock like 400s. Oh, the countryside's all in a flood. It. <laughs> oh, it's a waterfall. Let's find a way around over there, I guess. Oh, hiya, all right. I'm, um, I'm on a walk. I'm out walking. Oh, I see. Well, based on that experience, I think the tent worked well in a winter kind of environment. It was pretty cold. I had about, uh, went down to about three, four degrees, I guess, something like that. Um, it was uh, comfortable enough. I was warm in the tent. Uh, kept the rain out, kept me dry. The uh, breathability of the carbon interior material uh, worked reasonably well. When it got soaking wet in the rain, then it wasn't quite so good, obviously. Um, it got a bit damp um, and wet on the inside, but it didn't drip, it didn't bead. Uh, not like the ripstop, which is used on the vestibule, and like normal tents have. Um, so it, uh, it worked really well. I was, I was quite impressed, but I'd be happy to use it for a longer trek now that I, I know how it performs uh, in those conditions. So yeah, it's a pretty good test, pretty, quite pleased.